Hey Trojans, on today's show we'll have speech and debate results. Also on the program we'll have important information about the AMI days. This and more coming up on Trojan TV News. Trojan TV News starts in 5, 4, four three, three, 2, 1, Good afternoon, Trojans. I'm Penny Harrison. And I'm Ella Allegri. It's Thursday, January 11th, 2024, and here are your top news and announcements. Due to the recent inclement weather, Mr. Park Hill has been rescheduled for Friday, March 1st, in the auditorium at 7 p.m. Ticket sales will be moved to February 26th through March 1st at lunch or for $5 or $8 at the door, cash or check only. The district has experienced two alternate, alternate methods of in, in construction days. So here is a reminder on what happens on an AMI day. Students will have distance learning from 9 a.m. to 3.40 p.m. Students should check Schoology at 9 a.m. to see what students have planned for the day. I can see that the roads got cleared from the recent snowstorm. Yeah, but it looks like the temperatures are going to drop way down there for the next couple of days. Let's send it over to Lainey with more on our recent weather. What's up, Trojans? Let's look at today's weather. So currently it's around 31 degrees, but it's going to feel like 24 out there. And the high is 35 today and the low is 22. And we might get snow later, we might not, and that's going to determine whether or not we have a snow day tomorrow, which I'm hoping for. And then taking a look at our seven day forecast, as you can see, the temperatures are just going to steadily decrease throughout the next coming week. We're going to start at 20 tomorrow and then work our way back down into the negatives. You can see right there for the Chiefs game, it's going to be super cold. So if you go to that, make sure that you bundle up. And then we don't have school on Monday, so looking forward to that. And debatable on Tuesday because it is going to be a colder day again. But then the temperature is going to go back up and it's going to warm up again. Back to the desk. Thanks, Lainey. Although the weather kept travel to a minimum over the last couple of days, it looks like a few Trojan teams were able to compete. Yes, both basketball and wrestling were able to play. Let's send it to Mason Bean to find out more on that. Thanks, Penny and Lainey. Both boys and girls wrestling squads were able to travel over to Lee Summit North last night for duels against the Broncos. The boys came out on top with a 56-24 win. Their duel record is now 8-5 and five on the season. The girls' squad dominated the Broncos 78 to nothing in their duel last night to move to their record to 3 and 1. The Carney Bulldog tournament got underway for the girls' basketball team last night. The Trojans took on St. Teresa's Academy and came up with a 34 to 27 win over the Stars. Paige Berry led the team with 10 points and Boston Juan pulled down 13 rebounds. The Trojans are now 5 and 6 on the season. The boys' basketball team traveled to Lee Summit on Tuesday, January 9th. The Trojans lost to the Tigers 75 to 67. Gavin Shag dropped in 16 points to pace the Trojans while Desiree Tanya Niemick led the team with 11 rebounds. Their season record is now 7-6. and six. The girls' swim and dive team hosted Lee Summit Thursday and lost to the Tigers 85-80. to 80. This puts the team at 6-4 and four in dual play. Coming up on the Trojan Varsity Sports calendar, the boys' basketball team heads over to Lee Summit North to battle the Broncos at 7 p.m. That's it for your Trojan Sports Update. I'm Mason Bean. Let's hand it back to Penny and Ella. Thanks, Mason. Here are your upcoming club and activity meetings for the week. The Gaming Club will meet today after school in room 27. See Mr. Herdman in the main office for more information. That's it for today's show. I'm Penny Harrison. And I'm Ella Allegri. Remember to be cautious as you travel around the metro during this winter weather. And enjoy the rest of the day, Trojans. <laughs>